welcome back to another video in today's video i am doing a really gorgeous pastely marbly colored glittery set i don't even know what we're going to call it um i have got with me today some colors um and i've got my flexi hand this is the long wired hand with um the fingers are shade s309 the acrylic I'm using is from Team Gorgeous and I've got several here. So the first one is Sponge Cake. This next one is Ice Lolly. Then I have got Princess. I love this colour. Um, and then I've got Coral Kiss. I also love this colour. Uh, Mint Punch. And uh, what's this one? Hippie Shake. I've also made two orders, so I have got some more colours coming. So if you want to see me swatch them, just let me know. <laughs> the glitter I'm using today is from Nail Sugar and it is called Cutie Batuti and it's this beautiful iridescent mix with neon shapes through them. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm using Honeycomb, which is a um, cover colour from Team Gorgeous. So I'm going to start by using Honeycomb to create a nail bed. Um, we are doing the reverse smile line method. So I'm going in with my first bead and I am shaping out my smile line. I wish I'd extended it slightly more, but I did not, but we live, we learn. And then I'm going to go in with another bead at the cuticle area. And then I'm just going to make that flush with the other bead. Blend it in with this bead. And don't worry if the smile line isn't quite the shape that you want. We are going to later on go around that smile line with a hand file just to neaten it up. But once I'm happy, I will just leave that to set. And then carry on with the nails and then we'll come back to that later. Um, the... I keep getting the... I was going to say the pinky. This isn't the pinky. This is the ring finger. <laughs> I'm going to put ever such a thin layer of honeycomb on this now. I'm not quite sure why I done this, but I did. And then over the top of that, we're going to do a marble. And I've swapped over to my size 5 3D acrylic brush. It's the Nailmate brush. And I'm just picking up little beads of colour. And then I'm going to swoosh them all together. That didn't quite turn out how I wanted it to turn out, but this was the first nail I'd done. Um, the, what do you call it, the index finger, I'm going to do this as well on um, at the free edge. And it turned out a little bit better. <laughs> I mean, this one didn't turn out too bad, but I kind of got the technique better on the index. That bead wasn't wet enough. It works better if you use wet beads and pop them all together like this. So the ones I've done at the top were just that little bit too, they were too spaced out. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit green at the bottom because I felt like there was too much pink. There we go. And then I'm gonna take some beads and just sort out the top and the sides as you go around the side walls. because it's a little bit patchy at the top. Then on the pinky, I'm gonna use the princess acrylic, which is the pink one, at the cuticle area. And I'm just gonna blend it down. We're gonna leave the free edge see-through. So I'm gonna take some of the cutie patootie glitter and cover the nail with it. I was trying to get some like different because there's lots of different colored um not acrylics different colored bits of glitter through this i was trying to get a little bit of each color so i've got, I've got blue at the top i've got orange i've got pink um i've got yellow and then i had a little bit of purple that i put on there I had to get a little bit of pebble because I do like purple. So I'm going to leave that as it is and I will cap it in clear in a minute. Um, this middle finger, I'm going to do like two ombres on one nail. I don't know what you call that. There's probably a proper phrase for it. 
Um, I'm putting three colours on and I'm going to ombre them together. What do you call that? Let me know in the comments. I can't think. My brain's not working. So I'm going to do the blue first. Then I'm going to go on with the lilac, which is Hippie Shake. And then at the top, I am going in with Princess, which is the pink. Yeah, I went back in with the blue because I felt like the purple just covered up the blue a little bit too much. So just get your cuticle area neat and then start to blend the colour down. I did have a gap on the right hand side that I, I do go back in a minute and just fill it with a bit more acrylic. I'm just going to put a little bit more purple in that middle bit there. And then we are going to move on to the index. I'm just going to smile around, oh, file around the smile line. <laughs> We're just going to neaten up that up. Make sure your file is um, nice and flat so you, you get a nice flat wall. And then I'm going to use my smaller brush to pick up a little bit of pink to go down the side wall. And then, then I'm gonna we're gonna do the same as what we've done on the ring finger. Just get like little blobs of colour, and just sort of swoosh through them. We're gonna make sure our brush goes the same direction every time we swoosh, otherwise it looks a bit funny. And then I'm gonna put another bead this side. And then we're gonna put a few more beads on, and we're gonna swoosh. make sure everywhere is covered and then that is that one done and the thumb we're gonna do a three color ombre again is that what it is a three color ombre I don't know <laughs> greens going at the free edge then we're gonna go in with the yellow I took way too much yellow and we cover up that green but we do get the green back <laughs> I was like oh no the green's gone So I'm just going to go back into the green and put the green at the free edge and then blend it up. There we go. And then at the cuticle area, we are going to go in with some of the Coral Kiss. And then just blend that down again. It looked a little bit patchy, so I went back in with another bead. There we go. And I go back in with some yellow because I covered up too much yellow. <laughs> oh dear. I'm still getting the hang of these ombres. So I'm going to leave that as it is now because I decided that we need, I was, I needed more glitter on the set. I can't, I was thinking we can't just have glitter on the pinky. So I've put a thin layer of clear acrylic on the middle finger and I'm just going to spread some of the cutie patootie glitter around that nail. I think the glitter looks really nice on top of those colours underneath. And then we're going to do the same on the thumb. I didn't get as much colour on this one actually. I'm just going to put a small blob of acrylic on the bottom because I didn't have much clear acrylic on the bottom and I don't want that butterfly to move when I cap it. So I've capped it in clear acrylic and I've filed and buffed it. Um, I think that bit's the boring bit so I have obviously not shown you that bit. Um, I'm going to start with the pinky and work my way across. I'm using Nelkami's non-wipe top coat to top coat the nails and oh my god it's top coat time! <laughs> I nearly forgot it. So this one, I don't actually show you me doing it, but I do top coat underneath as well because the the edges, the free edge is clear. Um, so I do top coat underneath. Um, I like to do that with glass looking nails because I think it just gives a bit of extra clarity to the to the nail. Um, I really really liked how this nail turned out in the end. Let me know in the comments below which is your favourite 
nail i think mine is probably oh God, i don't know i kind of want to say the middle nail but then don't by the way don't do that with your finger like yeah what am i like see isn't this one gorgeous with that glitter on it how cute is cutie patootie <laughs> i love that and I do like this one as well, but I do wish I had extended the nail bed a little bit more. There we go. And lastly, the thumb. I had issues with top coat in the thumb. I think there was something in the top coat. Oh, hair probably. <laughs> Don't use your finger. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> there we go. Once you're happy, um, they go in the lamp for 30 seconds. And I'll show you a close-up, which is this. Oh my god, I absolutely love this set. Um, if you did like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Um, if you want to get 10% off nail sugar, you can use code NATMUG10. Um, have an amazing weekend and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye.